Now, when you were foreign minister, you were jetting around the world a fair bit trying to solve a lot of problems, and you did solve a number of them. Uh, one that has not yet been resolved is the one you've worked on a lot, the Palestinian issue. You have a very close relationship with many of the Palestinian leaders. Do you see any way in your lifetime or my lifetime there'll be a resolution of that issue? My dream is to see this solved and see that we live with the Israelis, the Palestinians live with the Israeli in a peace full country because they are, both of them, they are um, talented people. Uh, the Palestinian and the Jew, they are talented people. And one day I told them a joke. If they become united or work together, we should be scared from them, both of them, uh, in my opinion. But when, uh, that's need a leadership in both sides would like to take a step. It's not a leadership in America to push them. We need a leader, facilitator, it have to be United States, the facilitator for that, and the Arabs, very important to be part of this. But it needs two leaders, and they are not there at the moment, from the Palestinian side and from the Israeli side. We need another Rabin from the, from the Israeli side. From the Palestinian side, Abu Mazen now, he did what he did in Oslo and things. Um, I, I don't want to evaluate the guy, you know, he's a friend and I know him, but I think we need to see a new leadership which have commitment uh, from the Palestinian side. I don't believe to solve the problem, to do Abraham things, or I, I think this is an, um, in a kind of, uh, I'm sorry to say this world, I think this is childish because we are talking about normalization. We have no problem with the Israelis to, to normalize this, the, the situation. We, have, we talk with the Israelis daily when I was in, 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 in my office. They was having office here. Even when we shut the office, we was talking to them from the intelligent to the foreign ministers, to the prime minister, and we can talk to them. But to do kind of uh, uh, build uh, a new idea, with no vision or no target, peace target. I mean, unreal, not as just to talk. Uh, it's too early to do all this unless you have plan what to do. Because what I'm worried that within 10 years, if there is nothing happen, within maybe before that, we find ourselves in another intifada in the Palestinian side and we will find the Arabs here, the street, saying what you are doing as a government. So the uh, Abraham Accords are, have not been uh, signed by Qatar yet, or maybe they won't. Uh, you see that's not likely because you say it's not gonna solve the problems that you think are important. Well, maybe our government sign it one day, I don't know. I'm not part of the governments, but, but in my opinion, I, I, I think this is, um, tell me what we'll gain from this. The relationship, we have relationship. Everybody have relationship with, with, with the Israelis. All these countries which they did, the Abraham, they have a relation with, with Israel. We don't need that. We need all of us to talk to the Israeli and tell them, look, we will do normalized business, we'll do embassies, we'll do, ev like in the Arab plan, which uh, King Abdullah said, even better than that. But let us sit and try to find the solution in the ground.